New drone technology is allowing scientists to study monster storms like Ian dangerously up close. In tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Ben Tracy takes on a historic first of its kind flight into the eye of Hurricane Ian. There goes the beds. Holy cow. This is what it was like flying straight into the eye of Hurricane Ian. It was one of the roughest flights the team from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has ever experienced. And it was also historic. Right. Before taking off, they loaded on their new secret weapon, a three and a half foot tube containing a hurricane hunting drone. So this drone can literally go fly around the inside of a hurricane? Yes, what we wanna do is fly in and around those highest winds. It's called the Altia 600. It weighs about 25 pounds and can fly for nearly four hours. It's deployed out the bottom of the plane, and its mission is to go where no aircraft or scientists can go, the so-called boundary layer where the air and the ocean violently meet, below 3,000 feet. So when these systems make landfall, we want to know what's going on in that very critical boundary layer so we can help forecasters and emergency managers make the decisions they need to make. After dropping the drone into Hurricane Ian Wednesday, it recorded 216 mile per hour winds just 2,100 feet above the surface. It doesn't record video, but the data could be critical in detecting when a hurricane rapidly intensifies, something scientists say is happening more frequently as climate change warms ocean waters, providing more fuel for monster storms like Ian. When this flies into the eye wall of a hurricane, why does that not just shred this? Uh, it just doesn't weigh much. And we're also going to be flying with the wind. We're not trying to fight it, we're trying to go with it. And they hope it will help them improve hurricane forecasts and save lives. For Ion America, I'm Ben Tracy in Lakeland, Florida.